I have to change the belt on my sander, so I thought I would tell you guys a little bit about my sander, show you how I'm gonna change the belt, and tell you why I love this thing so much. This thing has been a, a lifesaver. We started out with a hand sander. Just a block. Just a block. And then we got, we got an electric sander, one of those little square mini jams, and that took forever to do anything always, and nothing was even or uniform. It would dip and wave. Yeah, sometimes it's useful. Sometimes you need that little orbital sander. I just used it you yesterday. Yes, you, you, you did. But sometimes... When you're doing big items, <laughs> yeah, or you're really trying to take down a lot of wood, shave something down, Oh. Round something off. You're gonna need something a little more beefy and stable to do that type of work. This is our Ryobi sander. It's a 4.3 amp sander. It's a 36 inch by four inches wide belt, six inch disc on it. <laughs> it comes with 80 grit on both. And today it's time to change them. It's got a max belt sanding speed of 3,500 RPMs and it's got a disc max spinning speed of 1,900 RPMs. This thing is pretty substantial. It's like 50 something pounds. The bottom is iron. Yep. Yeah, the not top's slide got around some, on you. Top has some plastic pieces. The little stand for the disc sander is, is aluminum. This piece is plastic. I mainly use this disc for taking things down or rounding edges off. I try to get straight edges with this or large flat surfaces. Pretty cool applications on that 45 with a piece of trim and just sanding no. it just like that. So to change the pad, you're gonna need an Allen key, Allen wrench, Allen. A guy named Allen won't work. You will not fit in the hole. <laughs> so goofy. You unlock this bolt back here. Ding. You stand it up. You could stand it up and work on it on a surface like this. I haven't done it yet, but it looks like it'd be easy. We're just changing the, the belt right now. It's my first time changing the belt, so you guys are doing it with me. Did I forget to mention the big hole that my shop vac hooks directly up to and I don't have to modify a, modify a Gatorade bottle and duct tape? It's great. It's virtually <laughs> dustless. To our Craig jig video. <laughs> yeah. You see my Craig jig, jig video, you'll see that I had to modify a Gatorade bottle for my shop. There should be a lever around here somewhere. Oh, it's a tension lever. Woo. Comes right off. It came with the 80. This was okay. It, this lasted a few weeks. I'm gonna say this belt lasted. You six did at weeks. least three pieces of furniture. Three pieces oh, yeah. of furniture. Oh, at least. Or maybe four. Got a new belt. Again, sticking with the 80. Bi-directional flush joint runs smoothly in both directions. Oh, this is a super fancy belt. Super smooth in both directions. All right, that's it. Lower the tension arm. Make sure it's nice and even. Yes, it says it's spring-loaded pretty tight. Is that right? All right, spring-loaded. Now I never do anything on an angle like this, so I'm gonna lower it down again. Tighten it up. Now I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna watch to see where the placement is on the pad here. It'll shift one way or the other, one direction or the other, although I don't know any One Direction songs. And then you'll use this knob here to center it. It's gonna tilt one way or the other. This creates more and less tension, kind of lets the belt ride in the middle. So let's turn it on and see what we got. That was pretty dead center. I just tweaked it a, a, a little bit, a scooch. When I first took it out of the box and I put this on, again, I only had to tighten it just a little scoot. I played with it for 30 seconds. Good to go. Do you want to change the pad? Let's change the pad. Let's see what we got. <laughs> we need to change the pad. Look at that thing. All right, so this is a sticky pad. We're going to remove the little table that it comes with. We did uh, some cornhole boards and we had to round the tops of the legs uh, so the, that they would swivel. And we did virtually no cutting. I did all the rounding with this disc. I love it. It was amazing. It was amazing how it just completely rounded those corners and made it a complete arc. And it's a sticky pad, so. That's my job. Garrett looks away for a half a second and I will put it away. I will put it away in a blink of an eye. Do you know where the. I probably screw. put it away. Got to remove a screw. I forgot. Wow. Is it sticky or is it Velcro? Oh, it's sticky. It's sticky. That is some serious sticky. Oh, shibs. Shibs. All right, 
It's supposed to be dust and debris free. We got these gator discs. Gator. Again, we went with 80. 80 is the standard. Ooh, this doesn't seem as sticky. Back on, put the little table back on. That's it. Change the pads. You guys want to see how it works? Happen to have a piece of scrap wood. Be playing on rounding this corner off. that pretty quick pretty easy right yeah in a matter of seconds matter of seconds we'll show you how it will get the long side also I guess can't see it too well, but you can see how it shaved it down. I, I, another tool that I love, another tool that I can't live without, my Ryobi tabletop sander. I love this thing. So what's your favorite tool? Leave that down in the comments below and let us know of any additional tools that we might need to try. We love tools. Yes, fun stuff.